We're at the crown of an avalanche we just remotely triggered. We're on a west facing slope below tree line. And uh, we were skiing on a relatively low angle slope, 25, 30 degrees. And this slope here is 37 degrees. The slope crack that we we're skiing out on and it uh, cracks propagated really far. So what you should take away from this is you can get these small pockets in the trees on these small roll rollovers and they could be dangerous as they bang you into trees and uh, pile up debris. Also if you're on bigger slopes the avalanches can be much larger and they're, they're breaking at the ground on the sugary snow. This is a west facing slope um, so you can imagine north and the shady slopes of a similar or worse structure. This avalanche picture occurred on Wednesday in the East Vale area on an easterly facing slope. It started in storm snow I stepped down to more deeply buried weak layers below the cliffs. It was large enough to bury a person. Other large avalanches released naturally on either Tuesday or Wednesday on easterly facing slopes in the Gore Range. This avalanche broke at the ground and was over a thousand feet wide as it wrapped around terrain features. The avalanche danger today is moderate in the Vale and Summit County zone. Human triggered avalanches are possible at a moderate danger. Be aware that you're most likely to trigger an avalanche around the Vale area. Consider avoiding all steep sheltered slopes in this area. In any area of the zone, you should steer clear of heavily wind-loaded easterly slopes.